Smash! Hello everyone, welcome back to another Road to Elite Smash. And for this Road to Elite Smash, I have not really done uh, one of the Legends of Zelda series of characters. There are quite a few to actually get into Elite Smash, but I think it's a hard choice on who to start with first. I'm tempted to say Link, but I haven't mastered Link just yet, so I think we're going to go ahead and go to Zelda. Let's start off with Zelda. You know, Zelda's a pretty easy Wi-Fi warrior to master. Let's pick Twilight Princess skin. I like that the best. And let's get right into it. Ooh, Jigglypuff. I don't know if this is going to be a pretty easy one or a pretty hard one. Let's start off with my favorite move in the game. Phantom. <laughs> yep, Zelda's going to have to rely a lot on me, the Phantom, <laughs> to win. So, that's actually really a big part of um, Zelda's game plan. Pretty much the only part of her game plan, actually. Uh, up smash, not that bad. It doesn't have that much range, but it does a lot of damage. Uh, Nair is pretty good. Um, you can treat forward, forward air and back air the same. Kind of like Falcon's knee, but a lot of uh -huh. With the rest, so I think we're going to kill her for that. This Duke Puff is most likely a beginner. And we do get the lightning kick out really fast. Oh, but our Phantom's going to have to go to pieces, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Puff that. Actually, ran landing the rest this time. It was at this moment Jackson knew. He fucked uh. up. <laughs> it's a devastating lightning kick to counter the rest. Up. Alright, Jigglypuff does not have a kill throw. Up no. throw is pretty powerful, but that's the strongest one he has. I don't know what he's doing, just constantly feeling. Alright. I don't think up throw kills from here? No. No, it doesn't. Alright. We're no. still living. We're almost at like 200%. And. Uppy is actually really fast. It is comes up frame six. It's pretty insane. Nope. And a 212. And Jigglypuff up there does not kill. Maybe back throw kills? Nope. Okay, you just went for up throw. Now we're at 229. Uh, Jigglypuff back. Okay, up throw now kills at 244%. Now let's just finish off Jigglypuff, and I think we just have ourselves a really easy win. <laughs> for a living day. That. Alright, Jigglypuff's putting up a little more of a fight. Right, not yet. Whip! Get out of here! Jigglypuff's very light, and Zelda's very powerful. How did we lift the 244%? I have no idea. Marth. Alright. Marth is kind of interesting. You know, we have the tippers of Marth. Alright. Luckily, do get our Phantom out. I would like to call that Phantom 3. That is Phantom 2. That is Phantom 2. That's Phantom 3 again. Um, like I said, there are five different charges you can charge Phantom 2, and each one being more powerful than the last, and each having different properties. Like that is Phantom 3. It has an overhead slash, which can be pretty helpful for dealing with Mark. Off. Ooh, nice down air. They did buff that in one of the last patches for no reason in particular. Me and my brain, huh? And we're just getting started. But now it makes Zelda down air really, really good. I thought we were dead. Now we're dead to tip her back here. So another thing I should mention is that Zelda Epsilon actually has tipper. Alright. You're not dead yet. Now you are. Faked you out with the down air, so you have to get hit by the Phantom. Yeah, I've just seen that coming. Can't really roll into one of those. Yeah. He did not jump like I thought. But the F tilt is gonna kill it. Alright. Don't really see that too often. Zelda killing with F tilt. And there's Phantom. Me again. Up smash? Alright. Not good that we're already down a stock against Mark again. Not to mention this is the last one we need in order to get to Elite Smash, not to play. Well, I was trying to get a kill with Up B, but it just wasn't working. At that angle, Mark was not going to live either way. So, get that jab. 14% really good. And on. Uh, is Mark throwing? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he should not have died that early. Okay, I almost thought he did it again. I almost thought Martha was going to throw that entire game. Alright. I'd rather he not. Two very boring minutes later. Okay. There it is! 
alright. Kind of a really boring last game, to be honest, but... Hey, what are you gonna do? It's, it's Zelda, after all. Well, even though that Zelda was kind of hard to play for the most part, or at least try to make Zelda hype in the least, you know, you can't really do that with Zelda. Relying so much on Phantom for getting anything good, it's just... That's really what it comes down to. The only thing you can really do to make Zelda hype is just get some good luck with getting the Phantom out as soon as you can, and then going off of the setup, at least for that. You know, when you're a beginner, it's not easy to play Zelda, and that's why I don't really recommend playing Zelda for beginners. And if you really do want to play Zelda, then just be prepared to put a lot of work into it. You know, Zelda isn't just something that really comes easily. That's why, you know, playing it online is a little bit funny, because you could easily just abuse one mechanic of Zelda's and just win really easily like I did over there. You know, that's really all I have to say about Zelda. You know, you just down B with Phantom, you win. And I wish there was more options for Zelda to be hype with at least her toolkit and make players think outside the box a lot more than just Phantom. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe. Uh, turn on the notifications, ring the bell. <laughs> Can't forget to do that. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then... Peace out and make it a great day, everyone.